What's up guys, your boy JC, welcome back to another video. Um, a few weeks ago, we had a no start problem with uh, the car. Actually, the homie Chris and I were messing around with timing, but, but weeks before that, I noticed the car would just stall out when I tried to rev it past a certain rev range. And so um, that day it started dying and we had to keep jumping it. And we tried to replace the battery, look over the grounds, clean them up. And you know, it did make a difference replace some wires and terminals and stuff like that. Shout out to Chris. We tried testing the AFM with the spare, the ECM. We looked at plugs, we looked at fuses. Anything that was suspicious, uh, we checked. I even went ahead and bought an ignition switch just in case, but we did come across this video, which uh, helped us diagnose the problem. I'll link that to here. Shout outs to Thomas, if you're watching this, thank you for the help. But so basically what would happen is, you know, we turned, Turn the ignition, crank, 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 but no start. And obviously we tested the coil and it was something funky happening with the distributor where the cap was missing like this little lead thing at the end of it, at the tip of it. We tried replacing that thinking it would work, but still no go. Until uh, watching Thomas's video, uh, we tried to run a little test and it goes as follows. So you take the spark plug wire here going into the distributor from the coil and you uh, hold it close to say a known ground like like right there by the head okay and I'm gonna leave uh, the camera pointed there just pay attention to what happens when I turn the key So as you can tell from that brief demo, um, there's no spark on crank. So now we're gonna try um, Thomas's test. And to do that, we borrowed a spare distributor from the homie Slav, shout out to Slav. And uh, we're basically um, going to connect the hall sender plug onto uh, this guy. And we're gonna spin the uh, distributor rotor and see if uh, it'll generate spark upon spinning it. And if it does, then that tells us that, that the hall sender is defective on the distributor that's connected there. So here goes nothing. All right, so again, we're just gonna unplug this guy. Hall sender connector. Yeah, it's tough to do this with one hand. <clears throat> Okay, got it. Now we're gonna plug it into this distributor here. One sec, do that off camera. We're gonna spin this guy. We're gonna spin this guy and see what happens to the spark and listen to the fuel pump prime as well. So as I spin this, sorry, I forgot that the key should be in ignition. Hang on, ignition position one. Okay, so with the key in ignition position one, we're gonna spin the spare distributor now. See, you can see that there's spark as I spin it each time. You can hear the fuel running too, which tells me that it's the hall sender. So, so since we ruled out the hall sender per Thomas's uh, test there, we are now gonna use a spare distributor that we bought from Dan Monroe. Um, obviously, uh, it needs an O-ring. So I got my mom to bring some O-rings over from the U.S. when she came uh, over her visit a week ago. We'll replace a distributor and see if we'll get this thing running. All right, so you can see where this needs a O-ring like right here. Should probably clean that up before we uh, throw a new one on there. <clears throat> on there mm, looks pretty good there we go all right 
it. And depending on uh, who you choose to listen to, some people say bring it back to top dead center. I'm just going to go replace it without bringing it back to top dead center because the distributor only goes in one way. I'm just going to go ahead and take note of how the distributor rotor is aligned before I uh, toss the new one back on and try to copy it as best as I can. And we'll hope for the best. As you can see, it's pointing down. So we're just going to copy that. Like right there, point this down. Like that. Uh, I'll wiggle the distributor out. Probably best if we unplug this guy first. Yeah, that's out. Clean that sucker up as best we can while we're in here. <clears throat> Toss the new one in. Looks about right. in there now we just replace obviously the cap so we got the distributor on fingers crossed See if it starts. Uh, see how this goes. Woo! Yeah, that's all it was. Just the hall sender. So I guess now we just gonna uh, wait for my homie Dylan to get here and we'll set the timing. I'll save the timing procedure for Digi2 for another video though. Just cause this video is like a little long already. Also it'll help people looking for those keywords, how to set timing on Digi2. If I make a totally new video for that, so. Thanks for watching though. If this helped you out, please give the video a like, subscribe, make sure to comment below. As always, set yourselves apart. And until next time, it's your boy JC signing off. Peace.